All right, really excited about this IT strategy, mostly because of the bar, mac, bar napkin math. Um, it's the, I love writing the back of bar napkins. It's it's like a like a pastime for my family or something. I'm not quite sure, but um, you know, this is going to be my digital my my get out of here. My digital bar napkin here. So imagine, you know, we got this is right here. This little guy, that's our bar napkin. Um, Okay, so simple IT strategies using bar napkin, nap, bar napkin, man, I can't say that, bar napkin math. All right, so this is gonna be real quick, simple, easy, hardware, refresh, cycles, booyah, capital H, bam, don't need that one, cool. So this is specifically what we're gonna dive into here, right, so, um, when you think about hardware re refresh, everybody always is like, ah, you know, spending money on a new computer you know, or, you know, any type of hardware, specifically IT, but we're thinking specifically to computers today. So what does that mean? Well, that means like, when do you buy a new computer and when does it make sense? Actually, the money that comes in for it. So I want to break this down real quick for you. So uh, new computer, again, this is bar, mac, bar napkin math. So New computer average price is going to be between, you know, one thousand and two thousand dollars. That's kind of where that sits. And again, I'm talking about business grade. I'm not talking about some random Chromebook that's actually going to just hinder performance for your people. So that's kind of where we're at there. Um, I looked this up earlier. The uh, average average salary. Uh, for an office worker is going to be 50k and that's specifically to Chicago so if you're not in Chicago or if you have multiple offices um, you know take that in consideration but again this is Chicago um, for an office worker bam that's average Shelly 50k so when we look at the regression of performance when it comes to computers over three years right so after three years you know you have your computer and that's a good time frame to do a refresh. Um, usually you're going to see between 30 and 50% of regression, right? So regression of performance is going to be 30 to 50%. Somewhere in that ballpark is what that's going to look like. Man, I need a bigger box here. My, my napkin needs to be a little larger. Um, so that's, that's generally what we see pretty much every time we walk into somewhere, that's kind of the, the numbers that we see. But like, hell, let's take 10%, right? Like let's not let's not even get to 30%, right? So if we take 10%, at 10%, so after three years, if your computer works 10% less efficiently, which, you know, hardware ages, it just, it's just what happens. It slows down, it gets bogged down, there's too much data on it, all those kind of things. At a 50 grand salary, that's 5K, right? That's five grand is the amount of time that they have to put more into, right? So they have, they need to add 10% more time because they're not, for the computer itself isn't performing. So if it's opening emails, printing PDFs, um, you know, doing calculations in Excel, creating Word docs, whatever it is, if it's going 10% lower and performing at 10% less, that's five grand that you're just losing on their salary because they have to either wait for the computer Maybe it does updates too often. Maybe all, all of those kind of things it could be. And that's at 10%. And, and 10%, if you have a computer that's only 10% less, you know, so any, anywhere between 5 and 10% less in that, that first year is you probably bought a real beefy computer that, um, you know, maybe, you know, maybe you want it to last, you know, a fourth year per se. You know, five years is going to be a real push in it. Um, but nonetheless, that's kind of where that sits. But now when we look at 30%, so that's the low end of what we see. I mean, you're at 15K. I mean, that's that's bonkers. Like you're now you're wasting 15K on these people on the base on the salary. And and again, that's based on average, average new computer. If you have a desktop compared to a laptop, it's you know, thousand dollars, you know, it's cheaper. Um, and if you have somebody that's say an engineer something like that, their salary is going to be more expensive. Now their computer is going to be more expensive, but the, the math adds up the same. Like it, it, you're going to keep losing money. Uh, and if you you know run a computer into the ground and, and if it's at 50%, now you're losing 30K, 
right? I mean, that, that, that's easy math there. That, that's simple, simple, easy math. Um, you you got to replace those computers. That's, I mean, there's no other way around it. Um, especially when you talk about like, say if it's on the high end 2K, I mean, even at 10% here, you, you're, you'll come out 3K on top. So, I mean, 3K is literally what you're going to save by buying the computer. Buy the computer. That's gonna that's gonna net you 3K. They're gonna be able to do 3K more work in that year, and that's one year. You run, you know, say that's on year three. You try to do it two years. Okay, well, this is gonna do great down for sure. But even at that case, 6K. You know, and a computer that you would have bought for, and that's at 2K. I mean, hell, it could be $1,500 computer. So, really simple. What you want to do here, uh, and I'm gonna move move this math to the side for us. So, what you want to do is you want to have a cycle. So, you know, if you take a third of your computers and you refresh those, you know, I guess spell computers the right way. Third of these computers, you refresh them, you know, every uh, every year you're doing, you know, a third. So is that the right? Third computers uh, refreshed every year, right? So you do that. Third computers refresh every year is, is going to be the basic piece of that strategy. You want to buy appropriately. Again, remember that new computer here. This is in that grand to two grand. That's going to be a good starting place. Now, if you have engineers, you need to you know, give us a call or you, know, you talk to your IT department, something like that. Um, so if you do that after every three years, then you're going to have um, you're going to have fully refreshed cycle of computers and nobody's going to be lagging. Nobody's going to be in this uh, you know, 10 percent you know, deficiency or 30 or 50 percent deficiency for that matter. And you could even do that by quarter. So, you know, say if you had, you know, 30 computers, right? So 30 computers, you do, you know, which you do every three years. So the third of them, right? So that's going to be, you do 10 computers a year. You could even do it by quarter. So that's like two and a half. So that's 10 a year. which equals 2.5 quarter, right? Which again, let's, let's take the average, take the middle ground there again, it could be just a thousand, but take the middle ground there, that's, you know, 1500 you know, times 2.5, which is gonna equal you out to, Somebody do that math. Three grand, thirty-seven hundred, right? Thirty-seven five. So that's what you're essentially doing each quarter in this 30, 30, 30 computers, right? So if this was thirty computers in your company, you know, divide that by three. That you just do ten a year. If you do, you know, quarter of those each quarter, you know, you're looking at thirty-seven fifty a quarter. But again, that so that's for two and a half people. So you'd have to times this by two and a half so that that's your saving you know what is that so if we're looking at just and again we're going based on that 10 percent end so at the 10 percent end at two and a half you're at what that's 10 grand plus so here at 12 five is essentially what you would burn in a quarter um instead of spending that 3750 that's that's the easy quick math to it um this is your your burn i don't know if burn rate's the right word but it, it feels good right there so your burn rate per quarter is going to be that at that 30 person company at 12.5 per quarter stretch this out a little bit more that's if you don't, you know, purchase a new computer. If you do purchase that computer, it's gonna be thirty-seven fifty. And to to be fun, I'm gonna I'm pulling a calculator out because I'm I'm not doing all this math in my head anymore. Too difficult. Pull it out here. We got let's see, uh, twelve five minus that. So you're literally saving. A quarter, eighty-seven fifty. 
Gotta put them dollars in there. Quarter. Or times four. Thirty-five K a year. I'm getting too long with these numbers here. Just throwing a K in there. Year. Stretch it out a little bit more. There we go. And that's the savings. So that's that's what you save by buying a computer. And, and again, this is literally only at this 10% rate, right? So it's not even and not even when we're talking in the in the here, right? We're we're just talking right here. So at that 10%, that's where you're equating down to that burn rate per quarter. Obviously, you have to purchase the equipment, so there is a there is a dollar amount there that that you are paying, but the saving just I mean you're what is that over twofold. I mean you're you're it's it's a no brainer. So that's essentially the IT strategy for today. It's literally hardware refresh. It's so simple. You can do bar bar napkin math. Um, yeah, that's that's what I got for you. So uh, hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, if not. Yell at me and tell me, shoot me an email back and say, hey, Justin, that was not helpful at all. You're a crazy man. Um, and and I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that feedback. So, um, yeah, so here it is. Bar napkin math, IT strategy, hardware refresh cycles. Um, get yourself 35. Again, 30 person company. Get yourself uh, 35K additional a year. Um, it, it's, no, it's a no brainer. I mean, it's a simple, simple no brainer.